All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honor to my apostles and others, a great millstone who do rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yorah, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right, the water, the water, the water, the water. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for giving, putting the spirit on me and giving me the inspiration to do this lesson. And Lord willing, it's edifying to the body and the feast, the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, so the title of this lesson is going to be, uh, or this exhortation is going to be Confidence in the Lord's Promises Written. Okay, Confidence in the Lord's Promises That Are Written. Okay, all right, we read the scriptures, and if you read the scriptures, you know, you read about the promises that the Lord, all right, promises people, okay, during the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, the times to come, all right, yes, it's going to be all hell breaking loose, yes, it's going to be no food out here, okay, at least for the people, right, yes, it's going to seem like all madness and chaos, and, you know, you're going to hear lamentations, mournings, and woes, all right, from, from, from a two-thirds of our own people, okay, but those are punishments for <clears throat> the disobedience of our people. OK, that's not going to be a, um, a punishment that, you know, Lord willing, we are a part of that number. We are a part of the elect. It's not going to be a punishment for us. OK. And even little things that we go through now. All right. They might seem tough. They might seem, you know, a, a, a tough to get through because we're in the flesh. Right. But. Those are small things, man. Okay. Those are small things that, 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 you know, through the spirit and power of your Habashi is supposed to be building us up. Okay. Building up our faith, building up our, our trust, building up the, the uh, relationship that we have with Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay. So that, so, so that we can have confidence and have true faith. All right. In the times to come. Because the Lord promised what? That in the midst of Jacob's trouble, in the midst of a famine, right? In the midst of all chaos breaking, you know, breaking loose, right? He said, what? Matter of fact, let, let me get it. All right. He said, what? What did he say about his servants? So like it, give me one second. All right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 13. And it reads, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power, right? Behold, my servants shall eat, right? But ye shall be hungry. So even though there's going to be a famine of bread, all right, the Lord, the Lord's servants is going to eat. OK, you have to truly believe that the Lord is going to make a way to feed you all right, in the times to come. man. OK, even even if a day or two or, or, or three days go by. OK, you still are supposed to have faith in that moment that the Lord is going to feed you. OK. Because what? He promised that he was going to feed you, man. If you know that you've been serving the Lord, okay, sincerely and faithfully, all right, the Lord is going to feed you, man. He's going to take care of you, you know? He says, behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. See? this is the, the punishment is not for the elect, okay? It's not for the Lord's faithful servants, man. All right? It says, behold, my servants shall, shall rejoice, see? But ye shall be ashamed, man. You see, and we're going to have a joy of heart, man, in the next verse. All right. Verse 14. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart. Why? The main reason is because we know that, number one, the kingdom of heaven is that much closer. All right. Because that prophecy. All right. Of Jacob's trouble, the famine, the famine of the word and et cetera is coming is, 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 is coming to pass. You see. And then, and then number two, these people are enemies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're, you know, thus for, okay, they're our enemies, man. Okay. These people hate us, man, because they hate Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai first. All right. And Yahweh Shai's spirit dwelleth in us. You see? So the Lord is, is a punishing uh, 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 and bringing judgment to our enemies, man. Even of our own nation. See? So that's so 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 those, so those are the two main reasons why we're gonna you know uh, uh, um 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 sing in, in a joy of heart man you know we're gonna praise the Lord ate the water Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai you know you see in that time man it says but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit man that's gonna be for the wicked man even the wicked of our own people 
So we have to keep that confidence in the Lord, man, that his promises are that that, that he's going to keep his promises, man. So I want to play this video. All right. By the brother. All right. His page is GMS. Uh, you one. OK. GMS. You one. All right. And it's just a clip that I came across on Instagram. I want to play it, you know, in just in case brothers haven't seen it, you know. It's a uh, very inspirational man, but it's a true message, okay? And it adds to the to 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 the uh you know the the, the uh, topic of this lesson. We're gonna go through things. Stuff is gonna get bumpy. Stuff is gonna get tough. The scriptures even tell you, on First Peter four and seventeen, that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. We're not done going through things either. But the the great weight of what the Lord is getting ready to give us. Compared to the little light afflictions that we get on this side, man, it's it's a, it's nothing. It's nothing. You gotta under you gotta you gotta believe that. But for somebody to turn around and go back into the world is it's incomprehensible that they ever really believed at all. We're gonna go through things. Stuff is gonna get bumpy, stuff is gonna get tough. The scriptures even tell you what first Peter four and seventeen that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. We're not done going through things either. But the, the great weight of what the Lord is getting ready to give yeah, us. I like that point that the brother made. You know, we're not done going through things, man. You know, all you know, you have you have some camps that, you know, try to, you know, say that Jacob's trouble already happened or Jacob's trouble is not going to happen. Right. You see, trying to make it seem like uh, uh, um, 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 the elect of the nation of Israel is not going to suffer. All right. Guess what, man? We're going to be in the midst of the famine. We're going to be in the midst of the chaos. We're going to be in the midst of, you know, that 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 uh, that a uh, burning uh, multitude. All right, that Esau is going to send down upon upon our own people. Okay, the scriptures talk about, uh, 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 um, you know, even some of us are going to be, you know, taken and grabbed and thrown in, you know, some of us thrown into prison. All right, hell, some of us are going to be martyrs for the truth, man. You see, all right. But all for Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. But you have, but you have to, uh, 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 um, um, you know, hold on to the promises, man. All right, the Lord said, as far as the martyrs, you know, that the dead shall rise first, man. Okay, the scriptures also talk about how you know those that are still alive, right, here in Babylon, man, that we're gonna meet, we're gonna meet our brothers that 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 you know rose first because they were martyrs, right? That rose first, you know, uh, uh, um, we're gonna meet them. In the sky, man. Okay, with Yahweh Shai. Okay, we're gonna be beamed up in a chariot, man. Do you truly believe that you're gonna be beamed up in a chariot, man? Okay. Like the brother brought out, man. Uh, 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 the scripture says the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Do you truly believe that you're gonna be beamed up in a chariot? And yes, you probably seen a chariot, right? We've all like you know witnessed a chariot, man. Okay, the angels and the chariots, right? But do you believe that that, that but, but do you believe that that chariot is going to come down and beam you up, man? You see, and take you up into safety. Do you truly believe that? You know, these are promises of the Lord, man. Okay, and we have to, uh, um, you know, have confidence in the Lord's promises that are written. Okay, so let's get some of these precepts. All right, let's get this one first and foremost. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 24 and verse 10. And it reads, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. OK, you see, if you faint in the day of, uh, of uh, adversity, man, your, your strength is small. OK, let me get that in another translation. The uh, what is it? The NIV. What is it? The NIV. Yeah, yeah, the NIV. OK, I'll put it at the top here. OK. All right. Same book, same chapter, same verse, but in the NIV. OK, it says if you're if you're if you falter in a time of trouble right you see you probably haven't eaten anything you're probably in danger right you're probably surrounded by troops you're probably thrown in you know thrown into a, a, a um um a cell or prison right it says how small is your strength okay your your strength your faith in, in Yahweh Bashim Shai, man that the Lord is going to deliver you do we not read you know uh, 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 um stories about you know uh um Daniel Daniel and the lion's den man okay all right Meshach Hadrach and uh uh, uh Meshach had had it's like it Meshach okay Chadrach okay and Abednego all right do we, do we not read about them being thrown into the fire 
Okay. And even though it was three of them in the fire, not, not, not a fire touched the hair on their bodies. Not to mention that there was a fourth shadow, man. And we know that that fourth shadow that was, that was in the fire with them was Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai was with them, man. Yahweh Shai is going to be with us, man. You see? When we're going through turmoil, when we're going through uh, 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 um, 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 oppression, the Lord is with us now. But do you truly believe that in, in, in the times where shit's about to get real, excuse my French, all right, that the Lord is going to be with us, okay? Because if you don't, your strength is small, right? Let's keep going. Uh, St. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4, all right? And it reads, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. And this is when Yahweh Shai was being tempted by uh, 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 um, tempted and tried by Satan himself, man, the spiritual demon Satan, right? It says, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, okay? But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the heavenly father, Yahweh, see? All right? And what are the, and, and what are the words that we're, that, you know, we're speaking about in this lesson, you know, that came out of the mouth of the heavenly father, Yahweh, man, and, and was written down. His promises to us, man. Okay? So we have to have confidence in that, man. All right? We can't be carnal, man. We have to be spiritual, man. All right? And hey, as it is written, okay? Without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord, man. Okay? This is the book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse uh, 16 and 17. And it reads, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of the anointed Yahweh Shai. Right? And we and we're not we're not ashamed, man. Okay, we're not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shai. All right, it says for it is for it is the power of Yahweh unto salvation. All right, to everyone that believeth. Okay, you got to have faith. Right, it says to the Jew first and also the Greek. All right, so 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 to the the Israelites. Right. But then also to the uh, the uh, Gentiles, man, right? the Jews and the Gentiles, okay, which were all which were both Israelites, okay, Israelite foreigners, and then Israelites that lived in the land and knew that they were Israelites, okay. Verse seventeen is for it says for therein is the righteousness of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai revealed from faith to faith. See, so you got to have faith <laughs> to even be given faith, man. You see, now faith is a gift, all right. The fact that you have faith is a gift in its own right, right? But you have to build up that faith, man, okay? You're going to have to be tested, okay? And you're going to have to pass those tests, okay? And when you pass those tests, what does it do? It just builds your faith up, man. It makes your faith stronger, right? As it is written, the just shall live by faith, see? The righteous, the elect, shall live by faith, okay? All right, before we jump to that, let's get this really quickly. All right, the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 14, and we'll start at verse 1. Okay, and it reads, Blessed is the man that have not slipped with his mouth. Okay, you got now, now we know that you have to watch what you say in this truth, man. Okay, the scriptures, as, as it is written, okay, the tongue uh, 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 um, um, bringeth life or death. Okay, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay, you can either speak life or you can speak death, man. Okay, so you have to watch what you say, right? Even with this truth, man, okay. You have to, you have to, you have to uh, uh, um, teach a hundred percent truth, okay? It has to be truthful, man. When you're teaching this truth, it has to be according to as it is written. Can't spice it up and make it make make it sound, you know, sugary and sweet so that you can impress the ladies or whatever. You you can't do that, okay? Keep it plain, keep it simple. It says, and it is not pricked. It's like and and is not pricked with the multitude of of sins all right here's the point verse two blessed is he whose whose conscience have not condemned him okay you see you're not doubting you're not wavering in the spirit <clears throat> excuse me you're not wavering in the spirit you're not doubting right it says and who is not fallen from his hope in the lord yeah how about shimmy i was shy man see guess what man we hope for the Lord to deliver us. We hope for the Lord to feed us, man. We hope to get to the kingdom. We hope to get beamed up in the chariots. We hope that, you know, uh, uh, um, 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 the Lord put it on this devil's mind to hear up and push, you know, hit his uh, karagma, man. Okay. We hope that, you know, the, you know, at right directly after that, man, 
that you know World War Three pops off and these other nations shoot two hundred million missiles, man, at Babylon the Great, man, at this whore. Okay. And we hope in that in that moment, all right, in the twinkle of an eye, that we're changed, man. That we're beamed up in those chariots and we're changed and given new bodies, man. Okay? And meet the Lord in the air, man. You see? Those are things we hope for, but these are all promises, man, that the Lord made to us, man. Okay? But you have to have uh, confidence in the promises of the Lord, okay? The promises that the Lord made. Okay? Now let me get... Let me get this going back to St. Luke. All right, we'll get two more and then we'll close it out. There's a book of St. Luke, all right, chapter one, and I'll start at verse 67. Then it reads, and his father, all right, Zacharias, okay, it says, uh, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, okay, blessed is the Lord, Yahweh, power of Israel, okay, for he have visited and redeemed his people, man. All right, remember, the Lord is focused on his people, man. And specifically on this side, his, you know, uh, uh, um, um, the, the remnant of his people, okay, that was that would that that he took out of the world and, and gifted to his son, man, okay, the elect of the nation of Israel, man. All right, verse sixty nine, <clears throat> it says, and have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, and we know that to be who Yahweh Shai, okay. Verse seventy, it says. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, right? That's what you hear today. You hear the, you you know, you, you have false prophets out here, right? But all you got to do is hear what they're speaking, man, and see if it lines up with the scriptures, man. See if it lines up with prophecy, man. Are they, are they even teaching prophecy? Are they teaching the true names of the heavenly father and his son? You see, all you got to do is listen, listen to him, man. Okay. But, the, but, but, but the Lord did set up actual men that he sent forth. Okay. His apostles, his prophets, his bishops, and etc. Man, okay. It says, "Which have been since the world began." Right. It says that we should be saved from our enemies. All right. That's another promise, man. Okay. The Lord promised that we're going to be saved from the hands of our enemies because right now we're still in the hands of our enemies, man. Okay. Don't think that you're free out here, Jake. Okay. Guess what? You still are being oppressed, man. You're still carrying around a bag full of money with holes in it, man. Before it, before you can even flip it around and try to and try to put your hand in there. Guess what? Esau done already dug his little uh, uh, red sticky hands in there, man. You see, as far you know, you know, in in the form of taxes and you know bills and things like that, man. You know, that's oppression, man. To work so hard to know that you just got paid money for your hard work and, and, and to know that right away you have to give it away. You have to give it right back to Esau, man, to pay your light bill, to pay your car note, to pay your mortgage. You know, some brothers, you know, being oppressed, paying child support, man. OK, we're still in captivity. We're still in the hands of our enemies, man. All right. So that's a promise, man, that 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 that, that uh, we have faith in, man. OK. That the Lord is going to keep his word of delivering us out of the hands of our enemies. Right? It says, and all that hate us. Shit, look, even two-thirds of our own people, man. Okay? Want to be delivered from these niggas out here, man? Absolutely. All right? Verse uh, 72, and it reads, to perform, to look, to perform the mercy promise to our fathers. See? Let me read that again. To perform the mercies so like to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, man, you see, and, and I want to get example. I want to get an example. OK, the promise that he made to who our forefather, uh, uh, um, Abraham, man. OK. It says to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father, Abraham, see that he that he would grant unto us that we being being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear see in holiness and in righteousness before him all the days of our life man all right and let's get that account okay this is the book of genesis chapter 17 and verse i'll start at verse 3 and it reads and and it says and and uh, and uh, abram and abram fell on his face all right and the heavenly father yahweh talked with him saying as for me behold my covenant is with thee the Lord made a covenant with, with, with Abraham, man. Okay. And this is what he said. And thou shalt be 
a father of many nations. Okay. You see, because many nations came out, uh, you know, ultimately came out of, you know, the lineage, the lineage of, of uh, Abraham, man, but specifically Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. The Israelites. Okay. Because remember, the Lord said what? Uh, um, as it is written. Okay. Uh, Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Okay. So, so, so each tribe is a nation, you know, each tribe is pretty much considered a nation because of the mass majority of them. Man. All right. Continuing on verse five, it says, neither shall thou, so like neither shall, shall thy name anymore be called Abram, but thy name shall be called Abraham. See for, for, for a father of many nations have I made thee see. Verse six, it says, and I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, right? And I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee. See? All right. That's going to be, that's going to be the, 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 uh, the elect men of the nation of Israel, man. All right. D did not, did not the Lord said he shall make us kings and priests. Come on, man. But do you, but, but do you believe that? Do you truly wholeheartedly sincerely believe that man we have to believe that you see that's all we got man we ain't got shit on this planet man all we got is faith in yahweh bashim yahweh shai man that's all that we got man and the hope the hope that he will keep his promises man okay that's all we got all, all the rest of this shit don't matter excuse my french man but it's that deep all the rest of this shit doesn't matter your woman don't matter man okay if she's not lined up with you, according to Yahweh Shai, all right, your co-workers, your family, you, you know, uh, 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 your cars, your crib, your, your, your technology, your favorite TV. It don't matter, man. OK. Verse seven, it says, and I will establish my covenant. I will accept and I will and I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee. In their generations for an everlasting covenant. You see? To be a to be a God and a power unto thee and to thy seed after thee. See? That's a promise, man, that the Lord made with our forefather Abraham, man. You see? And guess what? We're, we're not back in the land promised to our forefathers, man. Okay? That that's not gonna happen until Yahweh Shai returns, man, and delivers us, man. All right. See, these are all promises, but we have to have faith in these things, man. Right now, more than ever, man. OK, we have to strengthen, you know, pray to the Lord fast, fast and pray, you know, read more. You see, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, man. Read more, you know. Ask the Lord to try you. I mean, anything, anything that you need to do to build your to build your strength and your faith and your confidence in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, and his promises. See, Yahweh Shai made promises to us, man. You see, he promised to get, he promised that we were going to perform the miracles that he performed and more. Do you believe that? Do you believe that we're going to have spiritual powers? Do you believe that you're going to be able to lift, you know, a, a, um, a house and throw it at Esau, man? Do you believe that? Do you meditate on that? I'm just saying, ask yourself that, man. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there. Lord willing, this edifying to the body and the fat, the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, Shalom, and the Bible Ball.